Hey, good morning guys, Ed Froelich with Ocean Deep Fishing. And today we're gonna do a little DIY on some maintenance that we have on my trailer. And before we start, take a look at this clip real quick. The purpose of the video this morning, we were gonna go fishing. I came out here about 4.30 this morning to undo the cover and everything. And just checking the boat out. Let me show you what I found. So I was just checking things out, getting ready to unstrap the straps from the cover. And lo and behold, I find that my cap on my bearing is missing. Here's what it's supposed to look like. Okay, so as you can see from that clip, I ended up with a little problem in the morning. That could happen to anybody at any time. That's why I always double check uh, my lights and my wheels and everything before I take off for a fishing trip. Uh, and Put in the comments, how many times has this happened to you where your buddy Barron's has been missing? You don't know how, how it happened, whatever. All right, so today, so anyway, I received this parts from Amazon that I ordered in the video as I showed you. And today we're going to put them back on. And I'm also going to show you a little bit of maintenance while we're checking them all. We're going to replace the one that broke and we're going to check all the other three. Make sure that we're good for grease and that. And I'll show you how to check all right, so here is the situation here, as you saw it in the video. I have a cap that was missing. And I've already taken the threads out a day or so ago when I was on the video, which went in here. So basically, this is the new cap that you have. And you can see the threads. Well, from that point right there, all those threads were stuck in there and they had to come out and I thought I was going to have to take the tire thought I was going to have to take the tire off and everything in order to um and the hub in order to get that out but I had a little tool almost looks like a little brake tool but I had that in my toolbox and I was able to take this part right here and take it um there was a part of the threads where it had broken off from the cap and it left a little burr and I was able to catch that little burr with this and just unwind it all the way around and because of it's loaded with grease it wasn't seized up or anything it came out really easy so I ordered a set of caps which comes like this in a in a bag and I have a link in the description below if you need to order them if you have the same type of uh, hub and cap on yours the link will be there anyway so that's the new one i got two of them and we're going to put them in you can see the threads uh, now these are plastic they also i'm looking around there's a uh, company that makes steel caps like this identically the same except they're steel instead of plastic i don't know how this one broke i have no idea um i'm just assuming it was stress from maybe going over a bump or something and it cracked it but anyway we're going to put this in uh, and also, I'm going to show you the tool. Now, they make a tool that's like uh, a six-sided tool that fits like you would do on an oil filter in your car that fits over these hubs. But I have a tool, and I have no idea what the tool is or what it's used for, but it's like a crescent wrench. It moves back and forth. And I had that. This is my dad's. He's had it in... For years and years, I'm not really sure what he used it for, but it fits perfectly on that. Um, I can adjust it perfectly to fit on that hub and unscrew it. So that's what I use, but they do make one that actually fits that hub. I think it's about $32, but uh, this I had in my toolbox and it works just fine. Okay, let me take you down here. So on here, I already got... I already taken the threaded part out you have a little grease nipple which we're going to grease this bearing and then we're going to just put the new cap back on and then i'm going to check the other caps i'm going to take them off and i'm going to shoot some grease in all the other four tires and also a good time to do this right now is these right here lug nuts with the lug caps on them it's a good idea if you take these off one at a time there's threads that run in here take these off one at a time grease the threads and then put them back on you can do them all on each tire and that will help uh, from 
them corroding and getting seized on to where you can't get them off because worst thing you want to do is get stuck on side of the road and you can't get those suckers off because they're corroded on so bad and you've got you know no air compressor or anything like that in order to do them so this just uh, ensures that you will be able to get them off if need be all right so first thing we're going to do we're going to grease this and then i'll show you how to put the cap back on so like i said the nipple is right here we're going to take i have my grease gun filled with marine bearing grease um, you can use regular bearing grease if that's all you have but i suggest that you get marine bearing grease because it has additives that will help with the salt water environment and keep them greased so we're going to just pump a few and i don't know if you can see but as i pump you can see the grease see the grease coming out that means it's full okay so that's all we're going to do then i'm going to take my cover and what i like about it is it has a little it has a rubber ring right there that's sort of like a an o-ring and it seals the water out of there so basically i always start it with my hands anything that's threaded i always start with my hands you don't want to cross thread these things get it as tight as you can and then i'm going to take my tool that i have and it, it turns pretty easy right now but then it tightens up and i'm just going to snug it up i don't want to over tighten it but right there in there is where it cracked before like i said i don't know um what caused it to crack but these are things i check every time before a trip to make sure it's all good uh, make sure there's grease in the bearings i always carry a set of extra bearings with me just in case they actually have which is a lot easier which i think i'm going to get instead of carrying the bearings they have a hub kit that's the whole hub with the bearings and everything in it all you got to do is take the hub off and put the new hub on makes it a lot easier i don't have one of those yet but i'm thinking on uh, getting one of those and keeping them with me okay let's uh check the other ones out okay guys we're going to check this one out let's put our tool on there make sure it's tight on there okay and we're going to turn it off just inspect everything all right everything looks good in there but we're gonna we're gonna add a little grease to it I like to put the grease in it till it starts coming out on the edges which it just did so that was several pumps to get it to do that everything looks good the carter pin looks good I don't see anything I don't see any fractures in this one so I think we're good hand tighten it and then take your tool and tighten it the rest of the way okay I'm gonna go check the other two now on the other side okay guys we're on the other side of the boat being the port side that all looks pretty good o-ring looks good all right let's put some a few pumps of grease in this one too okay starting to come out so we're good to go put this back on grab my tool all right like I said don't over tighten them it's only plastic now I'm bringing you along checking these out just in case I could discover something while I'm taking them off so I can show you guys but so far everything's been everything's been good I haven't seen any trouble now this one here seems to be a little tougher to get off I don't know let's see yeah 
threads seem to be I got a little flat spot here it's not perfectly round right here it goes round and flatten and round and that's probably why it's a little difficult to um, there's a little difficult more than the others to take off but the pins on there are good everything looks good let's put a little bit of grease in this one okay give this a few shots until I see the grease coming out now the manufacturer of this trailer which is a merit trail and these hubs which are Dexter vortex hubs they say you don't have to do any maintenance on these things for like five years um, I'm not quite a believer in that um, I would definitely always check and make sure that you're good now this one here like I said for whatever reason has a a flat spot on it there we go it's going better I have another one because I ordered a package of two but I'm gonna go save that new one just in case I need it on the road but I'm gonna put this one on and just give it a snug tight fit Ugh, okay okay guys well that's uh the maintenance that i'm going to do on the hubs and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to get my air compressor up i'm going to show you a couple of these take off the lug bolts and grease them and then i'm not going to go through every one of them i'm just going to show you how to do a couple and i'm going to do it to all of them all the way around the boat so we got four wheels and i'm going to show you that right now so what I'm going to show you now is we're going to take some of these off. Um, we're going to uh, look at the threads, make sure the threads are good. And you've seen me use this before when I did my um, lower unit. It's Annie C's um, product lubricant. And that's what we're going to end up putting on the threads. And then we're going to put them back on. So what I'm using today, I have my air gun. I have a 13 16 uh, socket. And we're also going to check the air in the tires, which is very crucial. It um, does a few things. It saves your tires if you have the right air pressure. It also makes the boat uh, wheel or pull from the truck easier, which is more fuel efficient for your truck while you're pulling the, the um, boat rather than having uh, lower inflated tires, which would create drag and of course you're going to use more fuel to do that all right let's get started i'm just going to show you two of what i do here and i'm going to do all the rest but i'm not going to bring you along for the ride you'll get the idea once we do these two all right guys we're going to do the first one this is ideal way because you don't have to take the tire completely off or jack it up we're only going to do one at a time so i'm going to take one off look at the threads lubricate the threads and put it back on and then i'm going to do the next one so there will always be plenty sufficient to hold the tire in place so you don't end up having to use a jack to do this all right 13 16 bit we're going to put it on there and hold your ears now i've loosened they don't come off this easy but i loosened these already just for the demonstration so it wouldn't take so long okay so you can see the threads in there the threads look good here there's no corrosion on them which is good um, I don't see that they put anything on from the factory, but basically what we're going to do is we are just going to put a little bit here on the threads. Again, we hand start all of our stuff so you don't cross thread. Put your thing to forward, make sure it gets on there, and then put us down. Okay. And next, we're going to do the second one. <clears throat> All right. Threads are inspected. They look good. They're nice and clean. No corrosion. Gonna put a little bit of this on here. Okay, hand tighten these. Put 
and I got a lot on there more than I want so I don't want it to splatter on the wheel so I'm just taking the excess off all right it's on there we'll push it forward put it on okay and as you can tell we got um, three more to do here at each tire I'm going to check my air pressure these are at 40 pounds so they're 40 pounds 45 pounds cold is supposed to be I like to do just a hair under it for at 40 so we're good to go on those I hope that was helpful to you um, in the maintenance of your tires and uh, bearings and stuff I have the link of in the description below of the Dexter caps in case you have uh, a Dexter Vortex um, axle and hub so that you can order some replacements when I do find the metal ones and I get them from the from that particular company I will also um, include a link uh, for that but right now I just have the plastic ones so anyway I'm gonna finish this video right now I'm gonna go around and finish all the tires but you got the just of it of how to do that and then of course I check the air pressure I check the lights and everything too while I'm on it. everything on the trailer brakes all that sort of stuff so all right i hope that was helpful if you liked the video please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and until we see you next time take care god bless and we'll see you on the next one thanks so much for watching